he was the first time that I had seen, um, you know, more minorities coming to play, uh, specifically Hispanic players uh, coming to play uh, tennis. And I think they saw, you know, saw me play, and it's like, oh, Hispanics do play tennis. Teaching boys and girls tennis at Bryan High School in Bellevue, Hernandez says he creates an inclusive space where all are welcome. And he's teaching them skills to be used on and off the court. I always try to tell the kids, I said, this game is not checkers, it's chess. So you may make an adjustment in your game, but that means they're going to make an adjustment in their game, and it's constantly adjusting back and forth. So thinking, thinking for yourself on the court and making adjustments accordingly. He says he's seen his players become more confident as athletes and as individuals, as well as being more responsible. Uh, communication and respecting each other because in the end that's really what matters. I think if I wouldn't have uh, done tennis in high school, I probably would have um, not been uh, more uh, organized, uh, more outgoing and uh, just better performance in my job. Put it in number two. The relationship that the students form doesn't go away once they graduate. They come back to support Coach Hernandez as well as the student players giving tips and life advice. The best thing I liked about playing with the team was the bond that we had, uh, the fun times that we had and learning from each other and doing what we can to uplift everybody. So I'm trying to teach them to be a student of the game, so I'm always quizzing them. And I think sometimes, you know, they're thinking, I'm not in school, come on. But I'm trying to teach them that uh, life is like that. Life is constant problem solving. And whether they win or lose, Hernandez says he enjoys both, as each match has a lesson to be learned as his kids move forward. In La Vista, Danielle Davis, Green News Now.